Well, uh, I got this application from KB in this evening. So now I'm going to show how to make a diagram using Syntax Tree Editor. The first thing, if you if you open the application, we have something like this. This is okay. Let me begin with new over here, new, and then this is new. But then you can click over here, or before that, you can make it into tree over here alignment and make it top. And what I'm going to make is a sentence, a question like, it's a CP. Let me, the question is, what did you buy in Chromedia? Okay, question. So this is a question. And then it's usually, well, in fact, we can just write the CP over here, but because we cannot, write the sentence anywhere in this screen so i wrote the complete sentence and then we can click over here uh insert child and another click over here and we have two over here this one is uh, we can write over here uh what is it it's a wh phrase this is position of the wh phrase and this is a c bar of course and then we can click this is c bar and when we can click uh clean okay look here this is the c position the hat and then this one is okay let me have it it's empty but let me just write okay and then we have over here and this is the tp and tp it branches into two nodes this one is the specifier. And this one is usually an N below. Let me write NP over here. And then we have, it goes down somewhere. This is MT, but this is the position for a subject. Then this one is a, a T bar over here. And the T bar here branches into T. This is a T over here. And over here we have, what is it? VP. And the T here is, let me go, goes down. What do we have to write over here? Because we cannot change later. I mean, this is a trace of an, a move element over here. So let me just write over here T which is in fact this one is from the uh, ed plus the two so the t is and the t here saying this is the uh, t1 over here trace one later and then this one we have uh, t bar over here it branches into two so you see over here this is a uh, symmetrical over here if you change somewhere over here the the balance set then probably center and align then it will change so so just make it uh not centered because if it's centered then you have the it's centered over here for the line over here and the font diagram will not be good and this one is vp is np Oh, it, why is it red? I should write over here. So it should be not over here, but it should be over here, NP. And then this one is the free bar. And it goes down into, uh, it goes down into U in fact but you will move in this position. So let me here write T2 directly. And then here it goes to, you have, it branches into two. This one is a, uh, this one is the VP bar, right? The VP bar. And then this one is the uh, incrementia. This is the HM. So, I cannot write over here and this one is let me write over here pp 
Now, PP here does not, we do not need to analyze it further. So just write over here, a triangle over here, and it becomes like in Gramedia. The color here is red, and then we can change into black over here, make it black. Mm -mm. Mm, where is the black color? Okay, this is black. Okay, it's black now. This is a triangle. Oh, what's wrong? It's not a triangle. It should be over here. It should be black, right? Is it black? Yes, it's black and here it's also black. And then the V bar over here branches into, uh, you have branched into two, right? One is the uh, WH phrase. And this one is an NPN rank. This one is a, okay, make it into WH phrase. And this one is the V uh, over here. It goes to uh, going down, it goes to, you can write over here or you can type over here. Let me just type over here, it, uh, it's by. And this one, it goes to going down and it's a trace number because it moves from this position, it moves to the uh, position over here later. So this one is trace two. This is trace, so uh, trace two. This one, make it into trace three. Don't make it into trace three. We can type over here, doesn't matter. Uh, three. And then we have uh, ED over here. This one is the T. This is, uh, uh, this is inserted right. And then we have T over here. It will move to this position. So we can write over here T. And then here, click on the node to select the destination of the tray. So you, we can click over here. So here we have, the, and then this one becomes, uh, what is it? Dead right. Okay. And then the subject over here will move to this position. So we can cl click over here, the address, and click over here. It becomes, you can click you. And then we can have the last movement is from here to this position. But we forget to, we forgot to write the, uh, the node. So we can just, it's okay, just click over here. And it, this is the destination. So click from here and click here and click over here. And we have uh, what? So this is the three diagram of what what did you buy in Gramatia. This one is a CP, it branches to WH phrase, it's a C bar and this is C bar. It's empty, but it's landing side of the model auxiliary here in a question. This is TP and it's a specified empty, but this is landing side of the subject. And this one is T bar, it branches into T over here and VP over here. And the VP over here has U as a specifier, and Chromedia here is a jump. And this is the V bar. It has V over here. K, and this is the tree diagram. This is the S structure of the sentence. What did you buy in Chromedia? And then after that, we can save it. You can save it as this is S3. We can save it. If we want later to edit again, you can save it like. Uh, Sail into Chromedia. Let me have it in over here, syntax in my syntax, just any place. Okay. And then we can we can export this diagram into export into uh, just write me over can. Chromedia again. Chromedia. Save. So we have saved our file. We have saved our tree. Uh, now let's see our work. We can check over here. And this is the file. This is the tree diagram which we made using syntax tree editor. Now 
we can use this for our assignment we can click over here so we can import the image for our assignment click over here and enter the image of and this is the this is the diagram which we use which we develop using syntax tree editor i believe this application is very useful for us thank you